this is uh, this is Philly D. This is this Philly D talking Never about the f- talking about the Etika stuff. Would have been now, great if he was using his hair product while he was doing it. <sighs> oh, hey guys, just fixing up my hair a little bit with my beautiful bastard beard oil. Oh boy, here does anybody hear about this dead kid? <laughs> Many of you have probably heard by now um, the news has spread really fast because I think a lot of people were waiting for for confirmation. There was a That's there right. was Blades a is coming out for Nintendo Switch this fall. What happened? Is that not the news? No, that's not the news. Oh, that's a shame. By the name of Etika, even even using kind of past tense is new and weird. You no, it's by not. the name of Etika, it's who um, was there. The, by the way, the were... jump cut kid. Can I point this out? Last night, I don't know if you were watching, but we did a. Uh, I did a, a triple air horn every time he, he had jumped a cut? jump cut. Is it a lot? Two minute, 49 second video. How many jump cuts? 25 jump cuts. No! 25, or 24, I'm sorry, 24 jump, 24 jump cuts in this two minute video. But hold on, but wait a second. If you're making, this is the other thing. If you're making a video about somebody dying, you should have zero jump cuts. Right. My point last night. Oh, okay. Was that well, if you're eulogizing somebody, you should have no jump and cuts. It's a two-minute video. It should just be, "Hey guys, obviously you heard the news. Uh, we're all really broken up about it right now. So and so has passed away. Don't really have all the information right now. Uh, we're gonna give his family some privacy and some time. Um, but you know, right now, I think the thing is to just try to remember this person and honor their memory. And uh, I'll keep you posted if the family has any kind of fundraisers or anything." God bless, and uh, if you or somebody you know is going through something like that, reach out to them. Be kind to each other. Have a great night. Give the suicide prevention hotline number at the end. Bing, bang, Bing, boom. Bong, you're bang, done. And it's done. Yeah. And it's just 24 jump cuts. <laughs> Found dead. It's been confirmed by police. I, uh, I just watched, it's, like, it's an eight-minute video called I'm Sorry that I believe was on his channel. At this time, it was removed. Other people have re-uploaded it. Um, and I will say, having watched that video, even though I was not very familiar with him, I uh, I couldn't help but really hear and understand. <laughs> they don't uh, stop. The it's the best. I was saying. dying I last night. In a vulnerable place, I wouldn't recommend. So <laughs> Phil, Philip DeFranco has how many subscribers does he have? What's he up to? Do we? This isn't on his Stark. channel. I mean, he's I I don't remember because a lot. He, yeah, he made it private when he started. Why do people listen to this guy? I'm really trying to understand, like. What does he bring? He's the face. He is the face of this new fake soft generation uh-huh. where everybody just goes, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Six million subs. Mm, sweetie. Oh, oh, baby. I'm so sorry. You know what I mean? Like that, that fake. And then as soon as you leave the room, they're like, I don't like that bitch. Like it's just, he, he is fakeness just, just crystallized. Just, just come to life and, and, and like choose the form of the destroyer. If you were like, I'm gonna choose a fake YouTube motherfucker. This we, guy is the. We the was avatar. Wolf says he's the face of normie YouTube. Yeah, yeah, well, that, that that makes sense. Yeah, and all normies are Chelsea pads yeah. now. And watching it, it's uh, it's really it's kind of messed with my head today. Although that's not the. It's about you. Hold on. No, 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 no. Everybody did this. No, 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 no. Sorry. It's messing his head up. Sorry, 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 sorry. He's in a bad place, dude. This is about you. It is. It's always about him. And you know, we get again. You get too soon making fun of him. At least we're honest. At least we're making jokes. This is, in my opinion, this is scummier. Than any joke we made yesterday, because we were fucking, we were fucking around. These people that uh, fucking, uh, it's about you know, it took them exactly forty three seconds to make this about him. It took forty three seconds, Mike, forty three seconds to make this about him. It but messes my yeah, head. It is. It hey, did. you know it whose head? You know whose head, head it actually messed with? His fucking family who's dealing with it. Stop yeah, pretending. Yeah. yeah, you know who else's head it messed with? The one that smacked into the East River. Fucking yeah, thirty miles an hour. His head <laughs> messed with very bad. Uh, I hate this guy. Men I think people it, really need to get the full experience of Philly D, and I think we need to full screen. Oh, of course. Dumb smug face. Sure. Uh, just for, you know. Do you want to smoke? For, yeah, of course. Okay, I got you. Just want to make sure. Uh, <laughs> you're good. Really you're good. We break enough rules here. Head today. Although that's not the, the purpose of this, to make this in any way about me. And when I'm looking through this story, I can't, I can't help but feel like this was a, this was a person who, who... When he said, <coughs> when he just said, 
that is to make this to, the whole purpose of, is not to make this about me. It made it sound like he caught himself. Watch, watch, a good watch. portion of what he was I, saying. I, have to play I will say, again. if you're in like a vulnerable place, I wouldn't recommend watching it. It's it's really it's kind of messed with my head today. Although that's not. Although that, so he did a jump cut, which means he made it. He made it seem like which he said one thing. He would probably he went, went on, on for about ten minutes about, about himself. and you know, and it's like it I like was reminded there, me of a time when I was going through some and I was stuff. petting my dog, and I was like. What's this all really about, man? What is life even about, dude? Shut up, Philly, you fucking fake loser. Philip DeFranco no, reminds me of that kid that would like take drama and pretend to be. And yeah. then you found out after high school that he fucked all these girls. And you'd be like, wow, how it goes. Yeah, Nathan. Because of this, to make this in any way about me. His name was when Jacob looked, in our high school, but it's yeah, the same Everybody guy. had one. Everybody <laughs> had one. Every everybody high school had one. Had a fucking Jacob or a Nathan. Where it was just like. Yeah, no, totally. I'll come to the party. And he was and fucking like, every one of them. They would change in front of him because they would have to get in costumes, and he would just saw all of them naked. And then you don't realize till you're like a grown man that it's actually worse to be the kind of emasculated person that yeah. women can change in front of. Mm. Absolutely. I want to feel like a man. I want a woman to feel legitimately threatened around me if she's naked. It's the implication. <laughs> I just want, but I want them to know I'm a fucking man. I, I don't have the titties. The, I don't know if that's the way you should say I it. I want you women to feel in danger when you're around me. I don't, you're not making Because it. you're in danger when you're around him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Uh, <clears throat> We're trying to be funny. Well, Mersh Mer does, Mer does have a new pickup book coming out called, What Are You Gonna Do About It? Yeah. <laughs> and which is a follow up to how are you going to stop me? Yeah. Which is the part of the nobody's going to believe you trilogy. It really is. It's a great book. I mean, better than George R. R. Martin. HBO optioned it. Yeah. Turns out stars picked it up, but yeah. still it's going to be good. Wait for the third chapter in this saga. You know, they don't even really test those kits. So, I mean. You know, What's there's the a bunch point? of those rotting right now in the fucking Chicago. because They're just going to poke and prod you and then never test my DNA, and I'm going to walk. So so do you, want <laughs> do you want Waffle House or not? <laughs> do you want Waffle House or not? It's not <clears throat> funny. It's not funny. And if you or anybody you know uh, has been... <laughs> um, because they played a lot of Nintendo. I That's want too you to... specific. I'm confused. I'm easily confused. All right, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Jump cut. Today, although that's not the, the purpose of this to make this in any way about me. And when I'm looking through this story, I can't I can't help but feel like this was a this was a person who who drowned. It's a person. It's a person trapped. <laughs> Just thinking of the stupid Geraldo. <laughs> Look, it's a person. It's, it's a, a person. person trapped. No, it's not Geraldo. In a crowded room, you know what I mean? Like a lot of us are like that, especially, and it's just like it's a supercharged situation when you have people that are that are on camera or have large audiences. And for a lot of people, it can become very hard to tell the difference between a, a cry for attention, right? Someone faking something and a cry for help. It feels like more and more we're kind of trained to not take things that we see online as reality or serious, where there's a belief. You're not. Could you let him finish being no. sincere? No, <laughs> who told him he was smart? Because that's the per I don't want to punch him. I want to punch anybody that encouraged him and told Philly DeFranco that he was a smart man. It, th this fucking, this like, you know, a lot of people you just can't tell because it's shut up, Philly. Fucking stop. I remember your early videos. It was you talking about people pooping in bushes and shit while you jump cut to other people pooping in bushes. Stop fucking now. You're not this fucking spokesperson, you idiot. Hey, you ever, you ever, you ever, uh, you ever poop in a bush? No. You're not gonna like my show. That <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly that. It's mostly poop. Most poops and bushes. Pooping. <laughs> New, New poop pooping. <laughs> poop pooping. <Yeah. laughs> that because someone has a large audience, that you know, in some way, they'll always be okay. Because how can you really be in a bad place, right? If you if you can do. Man, if only you had some sort of sponsor that can help with that kind of stuff. Oh, dude, trust me. A lot of people have been referencing. <laughs> A lot of people have been referencing it. If if only there was something. There is a rumor, and I have not confirmed this yet, but there was a rumor going around that Etika mm -hmm. was shilling better help. No. Was it true, or do we know? Oh, I, I can't find it. Guys, find out. Find we, out. We got people working on it. It's okay, just, good. um, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's true. <laughs> Somebody goes, they got a new sponsor. Hashtag better jump. There you go. 
Somebody on uh, Nightwave chat last night said that they probably should have gotten better or help. Oh, yeah. Bestest best, help. Bestest best, help. Best, the more good or help. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> All right, so <laughs> D Life chat in the back of the bus. They're going. Water's racist. It no, is. I don't. I don't think it is. I think that's how it worked. Uh, so <laughs> now there's also Colonel Crunch goes. You think Philly killed him? I don't think Philly killed him. How do you know? He might have planned it. Bum bum bum. <laughs> We're kidding. Not about Philly being terrible. He's terrible. A lot of what you want, and you're eating and sleeping well. All right, right. someone has to Colombo to fucking question this guy. One more question. Yeah, one more question, Mr. DeFranco. Hey, if you were shilling a better help <laughs> company, uh, how, he, did this, how did he. Was the victim involved with this uh, better help scam mm -hmm. with you? Oh, and there's one more thing. Do you own a Red Rocket company? <laughs> Oh, no. And then he tries to run. Yeah, he tries to run away. <laughs> Columbo. The, never, by the way, the dude who played... What was the dude who played Columbo? Oh, God. Uh, uh, Falk. Peter Falk. Yes. He never actually did anything physical in that show. So if they ever ran, it was he would always stop him by, like, tripping him or something really simple. You know what Peter Falk was really good in was the movie Made. Remember the movie Made? With uh, John Favreau, Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, I haven't thought about that Peter, movie. By when the way, did that, it come out? that movie's very underrated. It's it's not a great movie, but everybody in the movie's great. I don't know if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's like, as a movie, you watch the beginning, like, I've seen better movies in this genre. But 2001. That was a great movie. And Peter 2001. Falk, Peter Falk played the mafia boss. Mm -hmm. And uh, I still remember when he's like, uh, I don't understand, man. You got a problem with me. Like, you know, I feel like you don't like me. And he's like, because you stole my fucking carpet cleaning van. <laughs> I love that movie. So, hey, Philly. Sorry. You're boring, Philly. Jump cut. If that because someone has a large audience that... You know, in some way, they'll always be okay because how can you really be in a bad place, right? If you if you can. Well, I'll tell you how. If you invest all your money in this thing called BetterHelp, I know I keep bringing it up, but look, guys, I'm in a bad place right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I love this face that you just. By the way, he Mer. makes the worst faces. He is a, not a pleasant looking man. Um, he looks like he looks like Seth MacFarlane. Who was the one that always fought Kirby? The frog with the sledgehammer that always fought Kirby. Uh, Do a lot of what you want and you're eating and sleeping well. But right, someone having an audience, that's just, that's a spotlight, right? A, a spotlight doesn't hug back. And I wish that there was something in this video. Did he just say? A spotlight doesn't hug did, back, No, no, bro. no, 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 it's no. It's profound. Did he just say? The spotlight doesn't hug you back, he, man. Did he just say a spotlight doesn't hug back? Yes, he did say that. Why do you people listen to this man? Because he's awesome. Is it his beard gel? He's awesome. You're just a hater. Yeah, I could say that like in any way would make anything better right now in this moment for the people that are impacted by this. To the you know what? You think making this video is going to make anything better? No, seriously. Like, you know, you think you're helping? Did you, be you the change in the world? Be, be the change in the world you want to see. Thank you, Rachel. Even though you look totally different than you did in the last movie. <laughs> you're way ugly. I don't feel as bad about you dying if you're Maggie Gyllenhaal. Don't get me wrong. You're still fuckable. But you're way less hot than you were in the first movies. To the greatest degree, to the, to the, the slightly disconnected place. But the closest thing I have for that is sending my, my love and my thoughts and my well wishes to those impacted by this. And of course... A reminder, everyone, everyone's saying it, but it, it's really, it really does need to be talked about that if you seek help, you are not weak. You are deserving of love if you feel like you Shut need up. redemption for the chance to change, Shut for the up. chance to do better. <laughs> even though a lot of the time when you have success, you feel even worse, even, even guiltier for feeling horrible. Right? And that can make you feel ungrateful, but we're all human. The way that I... You, you cut stuff, just... And he connects things that aren't connect. You know what I mean? Like Bro, we're all just human beings, man. Do you understand? Somebody died, and you had the time to go cut, cut, whoop, cut, cut. Dude, you couldn't. Has he ever made a video? And I mean this. I'm, I'm asking seriously. Has he ever made a video, even one minute long, where there's not a jump cut? No, he's he's 
Mr. Jump Cut. That's it's consistent, yeah, right? He cannot formulate a sentence. He's not good at making sentences. And he was on Rogan. Did you hear when he was on Rogan? He was on Rogan. He's a stupid person. Like, he's not in any way capable of having high-level conversation. It. No, I believe it. He's not a... He's just some idiot that went to fucking... I think he went to... Uh, I think he's from Tampa, actually. Really? I think he's from Tampa, and he actually, like... I think he went to, like, ECW. Uh, not ECW. ECW? He was in ECW? ECU. Paul yeah. Heyman? ECU. He's the Paul Heyman guy? I didn't know that. I often think about the world as we're all different kinds of broken, and we all just... We have varying levels of how well we shield it. So yeah, I guess if there is a way that I, I end this, it's if you are someone that that needs help, I'm going to link down to resources down below. Yeah. This is something that I wanted to, to, to say. It didn't it didn't feel right to include it in the, the Philip Franco show. It was already done. There was a sponsor. I didn't want to make money from this. Yeah, that's where. I'll Whoa! No! 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 Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah, I don't want to make money, dude. This isn't about money. It isn't felt about... weird to include this in, include this in the show. That's going to be watched way more than that. You know what I mean? It, it was it wasn't fair. No, 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 no. What you did is you didn't want to sully your Philip the Franco show with a dead kid. That's mm -hmm. what it was. They all got to be uplifting and like, can you believe this, guys? Oh my God, have you seen this? That's that's all your fucking. That's all your dumb videos are. Your videos are like when you hang out with that guy that knows way too much information who's always just fucking telling you something over. And you know what I mean? When you ask, hey, did you actually... Oh, you know what this he's like? Philly DeFranco is everybody you talk to at a Comic-Con. So like in episode 355, did you see that? Remember that guy? I don't understand how 6 million people, other than he was one of the early YouTubers, I guess... That's pretty much it. I think a couple people just got in early and, mm. and and pretty much grew with the site. You know what I mean? Someone just said, but spotlights don't hug back, Royce. I know they don't. Everybody knows they don't. I don't like this. And there's a lot of YouTubers out there. There's a fucking lot of you phonies out there that are latching onto this specifically for views. That's all it is. It's These all it is. You don't know him. You don't know him. A guy died, you saw him trending on Twitter, and you said, God damn it, I gotta get out there and get these clicks. This is Everybody's talking about it. This is a business. Yeah, exactly. And they don't like each other. This fucking, this, they're trying to sell you that all these YouTubers like each other. The fuck they do? They don't. Do you think if, and we never would, obviously, we'll be deleted, but do you think it's some sort of alternate timeline if we had a fucking million subscribers? All of the sudden, people would like us. No, they wouldn't. They would just go like, get some views off of these guys. That's what it is. We, that's how it is.